welcome to another, uh, I was gonna say Harry Potter video, and that's what these are. Another video, and it's an exciting one, I think, um, because we are doing a Hogwarts Legacy merch drop. I say that with a lot of emphasis um, because there's not been a lot. We'll get into that. We'll have a quick little spiel, quick little uh, chit chat on that. But I do have a few things to show you. And honestly, I don't think I've seen anybody share. I've only seen one other person get one of the items and that was just in our Discord group. And I had that item myself just waiting to show you. So I'm very excited. But before we get into it, if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button down below and be notified every time there's a new weird video. I'm gonna cry of laughter here in a moment. Okay. All right, I have some items to show you, so let's get this show on the road. Alrighty, so the first item that I'm going to be showing you, there's only four, and I'm pretty sure I just showed them all to you in the thumbnail to lure you in. Hopefully, you are here, because <laughs> I lured you. Um, you know, the first item that I'm gonna show you is a shirt. Now, actually, no, let's have a quick talk. <laughs> Not too long. There's not been a lot of Hogwarts Legacy merch dropped. And, you know, I was talking to somebody that I work with who said, who is a gamer, who said, well, games just don't normally do big drops. And I'm like, this is a big game with a very big fandom. And they knew that going in. So it is a little surprising. And considering how long this game has been, quote, going on as far as people getting access to it. And some people have still not got access to it. What do we say? November? for some of the other platforms, like that is plenty of time for you to be dropping something. Now they have dropped some things and some of the things that they dropped were t-shirts, which first of all, for some reason they decided to do a big drop. Obviously this is only for people who really played the game. Okay, so I don't know what I'm talking about here, but they did a big drop of t-shirts with Sebastian on, on the shirt, which felt a little out of touch with the people who played the game because there was a common loathing of Sebastian. He was a, you know, arrogant, egotistical, greedy little turd, okay? We don't like him. We don't like Sebastian. He can go far, far away. So I don't need to put like shirt with him and little hearts and stuff I remember seeing. So that was a no-go. I was tempted by, because I wanted shirts, I wanted merchandise that was Hogwarts legacy specific. And there was a shirt with a grab horn on it, which I mean, grab horns are mentioned. I mean, it is Harry Potter, so they're mentioned in Harry Potter as well. Um, but that particular grap horn was on the front of that shirt. I just felt like the graphics could have been a little bit better and there was just too much shadowing that you didn't get to see all the detail. And so I just decided not. So actually some of the things that I'm gonna be showing you today, two are licensed and two are not. So we've got small shops and I don't know that I'd say big shops, but we got a little bit of both. So the first item that I'm gonna show you now that we've talked about shirts and the suckage of merchandise drop is a t-shirt. And this is a shirt that I got on Etsy and it is as follows. <laughs> if you've played the game, then you would know a little about what, what's going on here. Um, because we rebellioed our butts off in that game. Everywhere we went, we had to rebellio. So I, I would have preferred it be like three, just you know, three rebellios, but I feel like it's just that extra emphasis of how much we had to. So let's just go ahead and put this shirt on right now. And there we go, <laughs> sure not. I'm sorry, I tried so many attempts with that, but we survived. Okay, we've got our shirt. So here it is on. Um, I will tell you, all links will be down below. Um, oh, and then there's like, so there are various designs from this particular shop. I will say there's a whole bunch of shops running with this on Etsy. It's just a basic pattern. Some of them are changing it up, um, but you can <laughs> do different colors. And I just went for gray, okay? You know, it's my jam. So there you are, I got a medium. I will say I did order a small and I went by their sizing chart and it was off. Like literally I measured it wrong. So if you are in the group and you know where my shop is, I will be dropping that shirt. Um, Cause I had ordered, like I said, I ordered a small. So it'd be a small that will be available if you want to snag it. You can wear the same shirt as, as moi, okay? So we've got our Hogwarts legacy uh, attire on. What is the next thing we do? You know what? I'm gonna go in order of what we ordered. So the next item that we ordered, like I said, we have four was also a non-licensed, God forbid, um, shop supported, small shop supported item off of Etsy. And it is, is this, oh Lordy, it's coming out. 
Oh boy, <laughs> we're selling it already. This little Demi Guys, like I'm gonna call him the Demi Guys Moon Catcher. I forget what he's called in the game. Um, but if you recall in the game, we had to go around and collect these little moons from the Demi Guises or the Demi Guys Moon. Did we collect the whole statue? I thought we collected the whole statue, yeah. So we had to collect a whole bunch and that was really the point that opened up the whole game and gave us access once we collected all of them to so many more things. So it did play a pretty big role in the game. Now, another thing I was going to say is there has been merch. Okay, there has been merch that was dropped that wasn't just shirts. I've seen robes, cloaks, whatever you wanna call them. They're, you know, varieties. Not impressed, I was not impressed. It, it was just very cheap, plasticky, I'm gonna say polyurethane. What is the word I'm looking for? Polyester is the word. Just cheap. We even had um, somebody in, in our Discord group purchase them and show us the quality and he wasn't impressed either. So I'm sorry, you're not selling it to me. It didn't work. And now this is gonna be kind of commentary on this a little bit. There are a lot of 3D printed because Hogwarts Legacy did not put out their own merch, especially at the get-go. A lot of small shops said, fine, we'll do it. And so they did. And so there was like, there's a key out there. There's a couple keys out there. I was slightly tempted by that. They're just 3D printed. And then there was the key like, uh, is portal the right word? Capsule? Um, that you see at the very beginning of Hogwarts Legacy. <sighs> I have mixed feelings on it. I felt like at least with that seller, they did a quality paint job. I feel like with a lot of 3D things, it's all in the finish, it's all in the paint job. Otherwise you can really tell it's just a piece of plastic that was printed. And I felt like they did a pretty good job. The only reason we didn't decide to do that, or for me, was twofold. With a lot of 3D printed things, you get these like streaky lines all the way up. And we could notice those on that particular thing. And then with that one, it came with the option of being lit so you could see the, um, the top portion yeah, be lit up in like a red color and uh, or not lit. And I would have gone with the lit one because I want it to be exactly how it is. But when you open it up, you've got this giant battery on the back that just doesn't do it for me. It kind of takes the magic out. So there were just a couple reasons that I was like, mm, I was almost there and I decided against it. So normally I would not do a 3D printed thing um, unless there's just a really good paint job. And there are a lot of these out there that just don't <laughs> do a great job. And this was the best one I've seen. And so he is actually, he lights up. So let me go ahead and put the batteries in and then I'll give you up, up close and personnel. This came from overseas as well. So I had to order it quite in advance. I can't remember what country, but it will be linked below. And this is what the battery looks like. So, I mean, you can really tell it's handmade, um, which is not necessarily a good or bad thing. And then that goes and covers the base. So let me give you a close up. Here's the bottom. And there's the Demi guys, and then here's the back. So it's got, they did some nice shading on it and some gold. I think the paint could have been a little more polished, particularly around here. Um, the only critique, and normally I don't want to provide too much to critique for small shops because I really want to support small shops, but sometimes when you get an item in, um, you get you get to experience what it's like to actually have it and you might notice some things. So I would say, for me personally, I'm glad I got it. Um, it's one of the few things out there that really seems to represent and feel out of the world of Hogwarts Legacy is I would not normally say this, but I do not feel it was worth the 90 something dollars that this cost. Um, it's up for you to decide as far as costs go, because normally I feel like for small businesses, they should we should not be so critical of how much they're charging because a lot of work goes into it, unlike you know, a, a highly manufactured product. Um, but this particular one, I don't know. I talked about it with my husband. I'm like, okay, I will mention this because I want people to know. Um, and it's very, very like lightweight because this is just plastic. Um, but I think sitting on the shelf. And then the other critique that I would say is I wish this was a little bit more blended. It feels very 3D-esque. And I wish this ball had kind of a little bit of stroking going on. Um, so it feels like there's, um, like it's an orb sort of thing. Um, but let me show it to you turned on. Yeah, so there it is lit up. So I think on a shelf, it's gonna look really pretty. So I am glad I got it. Um, and it's definitely, if you're looking for one of these, the best one on the market, there's a lot of just knockoffs and a lot of just poor paint jobs. Um, so, but I did want to, I always want to provide any detail that might help you when you're considering buying because our money is valuable and we only have so much of it. So that is the second item. I'm excited to put that on my shelf. 
um, and have a little bit of Hogwarts legacy. So these next two items are licensed items. So in order of purchase, the third Hogwarts legacy item is right to here. <laughs> I probably spoiled it for you in the thumbnail. And it is, let me get it out, the Hogwarts Legacy original video game soundtrack on vinyl, AKA a record. Look at that gorgeous cover. Let me take it out and then I'll give you some more details. So here it is, Hogwarts Legacy on vinyl. Um, and I will say one of my favorite things about the game. I loved so many things, but I really loved the music and it's just hard to top some John Williams, okay? We all love that Harry Potter music, but they did a daggone good job with the music um, in Harry Potter and it's just another, in Hogwarts Legacy, it's just another way for me to be reconnected with the game after it being a while um, and be able to play it. And we ordered this, was it exclusive? Yeah, I can't remember if it is an exclusive item, but it was definitely the first place to get it. I haven't seen it at any other places at the time. Um, and that is Mondo. If you're not a record collector, a record player, we haven't played a record in a little bit, so this will be a definite push to do that. Uh, Mondo's a really good place to go. They get some exclusive stuff and they get it early. They're normally one of the first places to get some of these things that um, other places aren't getting. So here's the front. So my husband just corrected me. So it is almost like an exclusive in the sense that this particular variation, both in art style, art style, you just said, right? <laughs> and the kind of record, because if you don't know, records can come in a little, in a lot of varieties as far as like their color, uh, transparency, any little cool patterns that they do on them. That's going to be unique to these. I think this particular one is already sold out. You had to pre-order it. Um, so I will link down below if I could find just a record of Hogwarts Legacy um, soundtrack anywhere else. But here is the front of it and the back. They've got a good um, bit of songs on the back there. Let's open it up. We haven't opened it up yet. Oh, hold on. What do we got here? Um, just a little landscapey situation right there. And then, let's see, featured Hogwarts, Witchcraft and Wizardry. Um, okay, so they have all the featured vocalists, featured musicians, choir, orchestra, crew. So the whole list there. And then it looks like we pop all the way out. Look at that sucker. Okay, there's a little more to it than just a rock. So I don't know, you tell me, for those who have played the game, but it feels like that is Poppy. If you don't know, Poppy is the one that introduced us to the Hippogriff. Uh, I forgot the name of the hippogriff. And I think the one on the top right is supposed to be representative of like your character. Um, it looks like Poppy to me. She's got the hair kind of pulled back. Anyway, let's pull the um, records out. Here we go. Like I said, this record is going to be unique to Mondo. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, well, that's interesting. Here it is. It's coming off like, it's a lot more, um, it's a little bit more gold than it's coming off on camera. And it's got like a swirly business. <clears throat> Actually, it's almost a peachy color. It's like a gold meets peach. No, I think it's coming across pretty well. But they've got some swirls there. I always get nervous of, uh, it's kind of amazing that something like plays off of this. It's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> That's cool. So there you go. It's like a gold situation. So they should all be that way, I presume. So I don't think we need to pull every single one out, but it looks like there are three total, which I think I saw on the one side, but they're on the inside of each sleeve. So there we go. We got the Hogwarts Legacy soundtrack. Okay, item number four, AKA the very last item. Sorry for dropping that. <laughs> like it's hot, cause it's hot in here. Um, is one that actually recently dropped, I think like a week ago, last week. I, it was last week. Um, and I actually got it through my local bookstore, but it is available on Amazon. It was available for pre-order and it is this Hogwarts Legacy journal. Wow, this feels really nice. Um, so like I said, it's a Hogwarts Legacy journal. Excuse me, sir. We'll just put you back here, creeping. Um, here's the front. Now, if you don't, if you can't tell, or what I would assume is they're going for the, um, what's it called? The journal? A journal? Guidebook. The big old book. Handbook. I think it was handbook. It's been some time since we played Hogwarts Legacy, which by the way, if they do, there's been some like rumblings of a, um, 
uh, DLC as well as being able to play during like Halloween and Christmas time. Either way, if something comes out, you guys, we will live stream it for sure, okay? But I think what they're going for is the handbook look, which is the book that um, you used all the time. So here's the front. I'll take the sleeve off in a bit, but it's looking real pretty. And then here's the back. And this was $20. I think it's the same price on Amazon. All right, this is my first time looking at it. It feels really nice. This is gonna be a faux leather or I wouldn't have bought it, um, but it feels really nice. Let me give you like a texture look here. So we've got the imagery from in Hogwarts Legacy of Hogwarts. Um, so you're getting that representation of the game while still feeling a little in-worldy by being like the handbook. And again, here's the back without the sleeve. Let's see, what does the insides look like? Let's look at the, what are they called, end pages? Ooh. Ooh, we have got some imagery from of Hogwarts Legacy. Is that a character? No, it's a tree. And then does the back have anything? Oh, I like that it's different. It is the map of Hogwarts. Transfiguration, courtyard, library, gardens, all the things that we had to explore. A lot of times end pages are the same on both back and front, so that's pretty neat that those are different. Let's check the pages. Oh, there's pictures inside? Ooh. It's like this journal knows I'm not gonna actually use it as a journal. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. So we're actually getting some images from, from the game. Do we have any more? You know what, let me show you. Every single one. No, we'll just show you. What do we got here? Um, but here's the regular pages. So we have regular pages and then the corner looks like that. What is on the corner there? It's like one of those signposts. What other images do we have? We've got this stairwell. I wasn't expecting that at all. This is really nice quality for um, a journal I probably won't write in. <laughs> I always hope to write it into my journals, but gosh dang it, at least it's really pretty and it feels like something I could have lying around. I'm gonna make it a goal of next year to actually write in my journals. Oh, this is fun that we actually have images. Um, I'm hoping we have like the dormitory. <laughs> Boy, do we need to refresh ourselves. Um, shoot, what class is this? I forgot. Defense Against the Dark Arts. Right, right, right. Okay, so these are straight from the classroom in the game. Ooh, we got the herbology action going on there. Merlin's beard. <laughs> I like this. You can almost use these as like separators. So if you wanted to section stuff out, you can do it that way. Yeah, okay, we're getting more. Get some Gryffindor vibes there. 10 points to Gryffindor. Ooh, Hufflepuff. My puffs. Y'all know I love that room. If you don't remember, um, I did every common room. I'll put that up there and I get a little emotional when I'll be seeing all them plants in that room. It's really, really pretty. Anyway, that is everything that I got for Hogwarts Legacy merch and probably will for a while because it's not dropping like it's hot, okay? Um, we need more stuff, but maybe when they come out with another game, they will learn that lesson. Um, real good, but I think I'm really loving this. I am glad to get it. I just wanted to provide some critique on this for anybody purchasing. I like the shirt and I love the record. Can I have that record back? Okay, thank you. Look at that. Look at that. We got some good representation. Not too bad for not having much merch out there. But anyway, that is a wrap on the Hogwarts Legacy merch. Let me know what was your favorite item and have you come across any Hogwarts Legacy items, merchandise, all the things that um, I missed that you think are good quality and you want to share with me? Put them in them comments. Put them in the Discord group. I would love to know. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have, and keep making magic, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!